Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Compline with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. Our service of Compline is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone or tablet, or you can follow along with us in the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this evening. As always, we ask you to leave some kind of a comment or reaction with us so we know that you are here praying with us so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 134. We will say this together. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this, night, this evening comes from 1 Peter. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Please join me now as we say together the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snare of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Lifting up to you, especially St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We pray for all of those on our parish prayer list, those with urgent need this day, those with ongoing need of, for healing, and those who are preparing for or recovering from surgeries and procedures. Most especially this day, we pray for Tom Parks, for Grayson Edwards, for Dara Morgan, for Larry Schwartz. 
Are there others? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I pray this day for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike, for Alexa and Lauren, for David and John, for Enid and Jan. I pray for Bob, Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie and Ryan. Let us now say together the Song of Simeon. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our prayerful service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise. This Sunday, because it's the fifth Sunday, we will have one service only at nine o'clock with both parts of our congregation together to enjoy some prayer time together as a whole faith community. So we invite you to join us at nine, or if you still don't feel comfortable being here in person, we will be streamed live right here on our Facebook page. My brothers and sisters, continue to take care of yourself. Continue to help take care of those around you. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. And I wish you God's peace this evening. May God be with you this night and always. God bless.